So once you've installed the Disruption Macros plugins, you can open up DaVinci and if you go into your toolbox, go into your effects category, you will see a whole bunch of different digital disruption styles. And if you just scroll through each style, it'll give you a little brief preview of what that's gonna look like. So with these macros, all you have to do is drag and drop onto your shot and a quick playthrough. And you can see this is all pre-animated for you. However, if you go over into your inspector category, highlight effects, you are gonna see your disruption control board. So we have everything from shake effects, flicker effects, color damages, signal noise. Now, if you look over to the right, you can see that some of these are going to have pre-animated keyframes, and we can see that with the little red dot right there. And as I play this, you can see what controls are animating. If you want, you can simply just hit the red button to shut that off, and now that is going to stop animating. And moving on, as I scroll down, we see we have everything from defocus, displacements, we have a whole data mosh look, pixel damage. Now to add to that, if you go into your disruption elements pack, which is gonna be over into the media pool here. So if I go into my matrix disruption here, and you know, we got a whole bunch of different looks here. I can just drag and drop this element on top of the effect I already have. And once I do that, I'm gonna highlight the element, I'm gonna go over into my inspector category, and I am just gonna change the composite mode here. You know, different composite modes here will provide different looks. Now in this case, I'm just gonna choose overlay. And now if I wanna replicate and duplicate my element, since, you know, this is only gonna be lasting maybe 10 seconds or so, I find that the easiest way is to hold down the Alt key and just slide with your mouse the element over to the right, and that's just going to duplicate. And to me, this is the fastest method inside DaVinci to just duplicate your element so it can kind of continuously loop so that you can extend it for however long you need, given whatever shot you have. Now, I'm just going to delete this overlay for a minute and delete the effect, and I want to move on to our VHS control board. So we have two different VHS control boards. One is our text overlays, as you see here. And then we also have a whole bunch of VHS styles. So I'm just gonna grab one of the VHS styles, drag and drop it on my shot. And now if I were to go and grab my VHS text control board, drag and drop on top of that, I can see that it's not really being affected by the effect. So it's too crisp, too clean. So I can see that I have my effects overlooking the control board and we really want this reverse. So I'm just gonna delete the style for a minute. And as you can see, I just have my text effect right now and I'm gonna drag and drop my style on top of the shot. And now you're gonna see that your text is being affected by the disruption effect. So now going back into my inspector, you can see with the VHS text control board, we can change everything from the play buttons to the play text. You can change the colors here. Now notice that what we have as default are all different buttons stacked on, on top of each other. So we have a stop button, a play button, and rewind and reverse buttons. And what we want to do, I'm just going to go down to our fast forward and rewind button. I'm going to go to the opacity and bring that down to zero so that gets that away. Now I'm going to go to my stop button, scroll down here once again, remove it by changing the blend. And now I'm just looking at my play button. And I can change the size of the button. I can reverse it. I'm just going to scale this down a little bit. If we go to our timer control, we can set the hours, seconds, frames, fields. We can also change the frames per second. And you can see that our time code is going to change. We can change our record text. We have all our features for our record text down here. Now I'm going to move into our VHS effect. So with each VHS effect, you are going to have a whole bunch of different controls to design your VHS look. So here we have our crop, so we can crop our frame a little bit. And then if I hit our common controls here, we have a whole bunch of features for VHS design. 
So I can change everything from grain, degrade the image. We have flickering, pixel damage, vignetting, signal noise, just a whole bunch of features that will allow you to redesign a really authentic VHS look. So if I go back into my media pool, go back into my disruption elements. So we have our VHS mats for which we can now overlay on top of our design. And again, if I highlight the VHS element, I go into my composite mode and I'm going to just change this to overlay. And now that element's overlaid on the shot. I'm going to bring the opacity down. And again, this is just a brief tutorial giving you all the tools, controls, and elements for you to design your complete digital damage and VHS look. So enjoy. Enjoy.